ಅಮೃತವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣೀ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣೀ Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, grace and blessings of the Almighty God be always upon you. Today, the 6th of November, Holy Mother, the Church is inviting us to reflect upon the cost of discipleship, the cost of being a disciple of Jesus. Today, the Gospel speaks to us that without hating your father and mother, wife and children, you cannot be my disciple. Who does not carry his own cross cannot be my disciple. And Jesus gives two examples to us today. Those, uh, the person who is going to build a house, will he not first calculate the cost of the building and then start up the work? or else people will taunt him saying that he began but couldn't finish. And Jesus also says, what king before waging a war will not sit down and calculate his strengths and the strength of the opposing army and then get into the war? Discipleship should not be taken for granted. Discipleship demands a cost of you, dear brothers and sisters. You just cannot live like a disciple. You have to first prepare, be ready and then you have to pay the price. Cost of discipleship is there. There is a cost of discipleship. And what is this cost of discipleship? Deny yourself, take up the cross and follow me. We should learn to deny ourselves, our passions. Everyone who renounces his passions Everyone who renounces himself, he, he will be eligible to come to me. And those who do not renounce their passions, renounce their own selves, cannot come and enter the discipleship, the Lord God says. What does disciple mean? Disciple, the word is taken from the word disciplinus, means a life which is fixed to a discipline which is fixed to certain rules. So therefore, our discipline is Christ. We are supposed to fix our life to Christ. We cannot live our life as we want. Today, Jesus Christ is asking us to take up the cross and follow him. And what are the cross? The cross is my responsibility that good God gives me. The responsibility of my life, responsibility of my wife, responsibility of my children, responsibility of the church, responsibility of the world. So dear brothers and sisters, are we responsible? Are we being faithful? So all questions to us. So let us reflect on the word today and say a small prayer. Eternal Father God, we thank you and praise you, wonderful Master, Lord Jesus. Today, you invite us to take up the cross and follow you. Lord, there are so many crosses in my life. I surrender all those to you. Help me to take those crosses responsibly and follow you. So that, Lord, I may reach where you want me to reach. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>